Hello friends! Today you'll see how 30 famous movie stars now over 80 years old have changed. I will show you how they looked in youth and what's with them now in 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Raquel Welch first won attention for her role in Fantastic Voyage, but most recognized for her role in One Million Years BC. The dose in bikini she wore became a best-selling poster that turned her into an iconic sex symbol and catapulted her to stardom. Brigitte Bardot was one of the best-known sex symbols of the 1950s and 1960s. She first achieved fame in the 1957 film and God Created Woman. Before she retired in 1973, Bardot appeared in the 1963 film Le Mepris and in the 1965 movie Viva Maria. Jack Nicholson, widely regarded as one of the greatest actors of his generation, known particularly for playing dark, neurotic characters such as in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. His 12 Oscar nominations made him the most nominated male actor in history. Sofia Loren is international film star and Italy's most renowned and honored actress. Her deglamorized performance as Cesura in Two Women earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress and made her the first artist to win an Oscar for a foreign language performance. Chuck Norris, martial artist who rose to fame in 1970s 80s as an action star, he starred on the hit TV series Walker, Texas Ranger. Norris earned his first World Karate Championship title in 1968, proving to be the one of the greatest fighters in martial arts. Oscar-winning actor Al Pacino has kept moviegoers riveted since the 1970s, with roles in films like Dark Day Afternoon and Scent of a Woman. Best known for playing mobsters, especially Michael Corleone in the Godfather trilogy and Tony Montana in Scarface. John Collins played Alexis Colby, the vicious, vengeful ex-wife of patriarch Blake Carrington, primetime drama Dynasty. Collins was nominated six times for a Golden Globe, finally winning one in 1983. She also received an Emmy nod for her performance on the show. Oscar-winning Anthony Hopkins, best known for his portrayal of Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lambs, for which he won an Oscar and its sequel Hannibal. All the notable films include The Mask of Zorro, The Lion in Winter, Magic and The Elephant Man. Linda Gray, best known for her role as Sue Ellen Ewing, the long-suffering wife of Larry Hagman's character, GR on the CBS television drama series Dallas for which she was nominated for an Emmy Award. The role also earned her two Golden Globe Award nominations. John Voight first achieved fame role as country boy Joe Buck in the film Midnight Cowboy that earned him an Oscar nomination and launched his career into the big time. For the next two decades, Voight's film career was a mix of incredible highs and unforgettable misses. Morgan Freeman, known for his distinctively smooth, deep voice, he has received Academy Award nominations for his performances in Street Smart, Driving Miss Daisy, The Shawshank Redemption, and Invictus, and won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 2005. Jean-Paul Belmonto, one of the most popular actors working in film career, began in the 1950s. In the mid-1960s, he moved into more commercial films appearing in That Man From Rear. In the 1970s, Belmondo formed his own production company, Cerita Films. Actress Barbara Eden made her film debut in the 1956 Back From Eternity. In 1965, she hit it big, made magic playing the genie in the bottle on the TV sitcom I Dream of Genie, opposite Larry Hagman. The popular show ran for five years. Donald Sutherland rose to fame after starring in films The Dirty Dozen, 1967, MASH. He has been nominated for eight Golden Globe Awards, winning two for his performances in the films Citizen X and Path to War. His film career spans more than 55 years. 
Sir Ian McKellen, considered one of the greatest British actors of all time, recipient of two Academy Award nominations. Despite the fact that many people know actor only as Gandalf from The Lord of the Rings, there is no Shakespeare play that he hasn't played in. Christopher Lloyd began appeared in more than 200 stage productions before working in film industry. Lloyd made his debut in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975. He best known for his role as an eccentric Dr. Emmett Brown in the Back to the Future trilogy. Oscar-winning Julie Andrews, eternally best known for her portrayals of Mary Poppins, 1964, and Maria in The Sound of Music, 1965. She is also an author of children's books. Andrews has endured as a popular star of stage and screen for many decades. Dustin Hoffman is known for his versatile portrayals of anti-heroes and emotionally vulnerable characters. His breakthrough role was as Benjamin Braddock in Mike Nichols' iconic film The Graduate, 1967, for which he received his first Academy Award nomination. Robert Bradford is a Hollywood legend known for his roles in acclaimed films like The Sting and The Way We Were. He is also an accomplished director and entrepreneur. His biggest breakthrough came in 1963 with a leading role in Barefoot in the Park. Carol Burnett is a beloved comedian and actress which became popular through television guest appearances and specials before receiving her own comedy variety program, The Carol Burnett Show, in 1967. Over her decades-long career, she has won numerous honors. James Caan, for his role in The Glory Guys, 1965, was received a Golden Globe nomination. For his signature role of Sonic Corleone in The Godfather, 1972, Khan was nominated for the Academy Award and the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. American actress Catherine Rose made her film debut in the Civil War-themed drama Shenandoah, 1965, before being cast in Curtis Harrington's Games, 1967. Her accolades include one Academy Award nomination, one BAFTA Award and two Golden Globe Awards. Billy Dee Williams is best known as Lando Calrissian in the Star Wars, first in the early 1980s and nearly 40 years later in The Rise of Skywalker, 2019, marking one of the longest intervals between on-screen portrayals of a character by the same. The Army veteran Robert Duvall made a career for himself in Hollywood in the early 1960s after landing the role of Boo Radley in To Kill a Mockingbird. After that, he went on to star in M.A.S.H., The Godfather Trilogy, and dozens of other beloved films. Actor and singer Chris Christopherson made it big with country songs like Me and Bobby McGee before starting his film career. He launched a successful career as film actor as well, with memorable roles in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, 1974, and The Blade films. Dawn Wells was an American television actress and author, best known for the role of Mary Ann Summers on Gilligan's Island, 1964-67. Her character is usually described as gentle, kind, and exceptionally warm-hearted. She passed away on December 30, 2020. Thomas Baker is well known for his portrayal of the fourth incarnation of the Doctor in the television series Doctor Who from 1974-81, a longer tenure than any other actor in the title role. He also provided narration in the television series Little Britain. Martin Sheen first became known for his roles in the films The Subject Was Roses, 1968, and Badlands, 1973, and later achieved wide recognition for his leading role in Apocalypse Now, 1979, as United States President Josiah Bartlett. Maggie Smith has led a distinguished varied career in film over the past six decades. Her achievements ranged from starring as Desdemona in Othello to winning an Academy Award for her performance in the prime of Miss Jean Brody to roll the Harry Potter film. 
Jane Fonda is best known for her acting career, political activism, and aerobic exercise videos. The daughter of acclaimed actor Henry Fonda. Jane Fonda has starred in the celebrated films Clute, 1971, and Coming Home, 1978, winning Oscars for both. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.